Now, drone footage that was taken on October 31st showed cars and debris piling up on a train track in the town of Shiva after the deadly floods in southeastern Spain. UGC footage, in fact, shot on Wednesday showed that the cars and vehicles piled up on the Valencia Highway in the aftermath of the severe flooding. Local residents were worried and struggling to find water and food as nearby supermarkets were running out of supplies after flooding cut off access to roads. A social media video from Wednesday shows cars and vehicles, including many trailers, piled up on the Valencia Highway in the aftermath of the severe flooding in eastern Spain. News agencies were able to confirm the location and did the video as well. Meanwhile, Spain issued another storm warning on Thursday for part of the Valencia region, devastated by the floods that have killed at least 95 people as rescuers scoured flooded fields and stranded cars for those still missing. Well, there was another drone video that caught up with the destruction that's happened in the Spanish floods and the cars that are piled up in the Valencia region. Now, this after the devastating floods that hit that eastern Spanish region. Meteorologists have said that the year's worth of rain has fallen in just eight hours in parts of Valencia. The floods have battered Valencia's infrastructure, sweeping away bridges, roads and rail tracks and submerging farmlands in region that produces about two-thirds of citrus fruit grown in Spain, a leading global exporter of oranges. These visuals, in fact, uh, show how cars were tossed like tin cans on where piled up at the highways and uh, several of them were, in fact, even mowed out from that location as well. Uh, this is the trail of destruction that the Spanish floods have in fact left and Valencia uh, as well as uh, its surrounding areas taking the brunt of the floods and residents still trying to recover from what has happened on the ground. Meanwhile, tractors and tow trucks are working on V31 Highway in the outskirts of Valencia to clear the dozens of stranded vehicles. After the deadly floods that hit the region, the death toll from devastating flash floods in eastern Spain now has climbed up to 158, with rescue teams still searching for those missing in what could become Europe's worst storm-related disaster in over five decades. Local authorities have not disclosed how many people are still unaccounted for, but the tragedy is already Spain's worst flood-related disaster in modern history, and meteorologists say that human-driven climate change is making such extreme weather events more frequent and destructive. Well, let's give you an idea of how bad the situation is in Valencia through satellite images from Wednesday that was taken when the flooding had occurred. Well, these satellite images show the extent of flooding across the eastern Spain region in around the city of Valencia as the death toll in the region has climbed. Local authorities have not disclosed how many people are still unaccounted for as the deadliest floods in Europe in five decades hits Valencia region. Meanwhile, your, the Defence Minister of Spain, Margarita Robles, said that uh, final national death toll would be much greater as rescue workers make through the silt-laden uh, neighbourhoods in the area. Meteorologists have said a year's worth of rain has fallen in just eight hours in Valencia. The floods have battered Valencia's infrastructure and has destroyed several of its bridges. About 80 kilometers of roads in the eastern region were seriously damaged. Meanwhile, residents of Valencian town of Paipota are telling the stories of how they have survived that deadly floods. One of them said that her neighbours had used a piece of cord to help her escape her flooded home as the water rose to her neck. Another man said that he had to grab onto the walls to avoid being carried away by the currents of the flood waters when he found himself outside his home 
during the deluge. The death toll from the disaster in eastern Spain climbed to 158 with uh, rescue teams still searching for those who are missing. Many of the residential areas, especially in the Valencia region, uh, saw a lot of silt, in fact, coming along with the uh, flood waters. The residents are, in fact, trying to salvage whatever belongings they have with them uh, and also to get back to normal life. Uh, but the destruction is said to be unprecedented as the flood came in in what is considered to be one of the biggest flooding incidents in the region in the last five decades.